Welcome everyone. In this video, I want to go over clockwise rotation in R2. We had some questions on that. So let me just show you how you can do that fast. So in uh, my last video we did, we found the matrix of the counterclockwise rotation and that was the matrix, cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, and cosine theta. So I put counterclockwise here for you. You know, on counterclockwise, if you have a vector and we rotate it counterclockwise, we get this new vector. How about if we to be rotated clockwise? And I said you can change the sign of the data, but one thing you can do is just go to this formula and substitute change data to negative data, and then uh, see if we do that, what happens. So here we're going to get and I put a new matrix as C, which is clockwise. So you get cosine negative data minus cosine negative data, sine negative data, and cosine negative data. However, from trigonometry, <clears throat> remember that cosine is an even function and cosine negative data is cosine data and sine is an odd function and sine negative data is negative sine data. So here, let's apply that. Here, cosine negative data stays cosine data. Negative sine negative data is negative negative sine data, which is just sine data. And that changes to negative sine data. And cosine negative data is just cosine data. And for when you hear clockwise, you can just go ahead and not change the sign of the angle and then use this formula. And it works exactly like counterclockwise, and you can get the answer. You can watch my videos on counterclockwise when I did some examples and just go ahead and use this matrix when you hear clockwise in the problem. I think that's good enough for this video. And if uh, I have time, I will just do an example of uh, clockwise, but use this and you're gonna always end up with the right answer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.